Okay, we're step two here. We've gone into Fusion 360 online for the Chromebook. So I did Fusion 360 for a Chromebook and I got it um, logged in. Kind of goes through a little two minute wait period, but you can get logged in here. Now we have our Fusion 360 up. We're logged into Fusion 360 and we're ready to go. First thing we have to do is take it and check document settings. We're working on this in millimeters. So I'm changing my units by clicking on this little edit button and it brings change active units and we're going to put it to millimeters because everything we have over here is in millimeters for the dip, for the cookie cutter. Now we got to get our picture in. So this is called a canvas is what we're going to be inserting. So we go over to the insert menu and we come down to canvas and you can see this is why we had to put it in our project cookie cutter project, intermediate surfboards, and insert. And I'm gonna put it on the ground. And it's gonna come in smaller, like, and I'm just gonna hit okay. You can do rotations and all that kind of stuff if you want to, but we don't need to rotate it. And then I'm gonna click the top view. Now I'm taking a look at my three surfboard, or a bunch of surfboards here. I'm going to choose to do this one here because it's a little bit wider. It's got a nice shape to it that I like. So I am going to open up my canvases in my feature tree, right click on it and hit calibrate. Now what calibrate does is I can click at the point here and it's going to rescale this to the right size. I'm going to come straight down to the bottom. I'm going to go pretty much in the middle. Click there. And that's 26 millimeters. So I'm going to zoom out and I want that to be our cookie can be 100 millimeters. It can be smaller than that, but that's the biggest one we're going to print. So now we have this calibrated to exactly 100 millimeters tall. And that's how we calibrate or insert an image and calibrate to the size.